What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Whenever Mikhail Krizo makes it to Olympia stage, it is gonna be a good one. This guy is 6 feet tall. Plus, he is packed with muscle top to bottom. Height is a factor that plays in your favor, especially if you are at a point in your career where the frame has filled up enough. With years of training and competing, Mikhail Krizo has accomplished this task. Love the way Mikhail is still responding to the questions regarding Nick Walker. The comparison is by who is the best bodybuilder IG page. Now, we all know Nick is always confident. He never shies away from responding to any kind of questions. And his target isn't Krizzle, but Big Rami and Brendan Curry. And he wants to win the Olympia this year. An interesting point was made on the podcast uploaded on Mr. Olympia YouTube channel. The point was that a lot of big names who haven't qualified for the Olympia yet, but they aren't doing the Chicago Pro. Roly Winkler, for instance. Although he says he isn't retired, but we have got to realize Roly isn't getting any younger. He didn't have a good 2021 season, and he has no plans to compete in the near future as well. Does that mean Roly's career is at an end? Most likely, yes, as he is 45 years old now. Why isn't Sergio Oliva Jr. doing Chicago? He did two shows last year and obviously didn't do good in any of them. And we have just few Olympia qualifiers left for this year. And Sergio hasn't revealed his plans. He has moved to Dubai and he looks huge as usual. But another year of Sergio's pro career is going by if he sits on the sidelines. I mean, we want to see Sergio on bodybuilding stage. He has got plenty of size. He just needs to fix his conditioning. No Kuklo. Steve Kuklo, no, yeah. No, no Ruby Winkler. No yeah. Akeem Williams. Uh, no Sergio, thank you. I mean, there's, yeah. where are these guys? I mean, you, we might see a change in the guard just in that they all can't qualify. There's only literally a few shows left. In the grand scheme of things, Carrizo can win his pro card in Brazil, the last qualifier for the Olympia this year, and be on the Olympia stage. How crazy would that be? We don't care where he places at his first Olympia, but that will certainly hype up the event even more. Michael Krizna, you might see him go from zero to hero real quick. He might get his pro card, win a qualifier, and be on the Olympia stage all in the same year. That could happen. Some people are concerned whether Andrew Jagd will be conditioned at Texas Pro in four weeks. Is he rushing it? I would have to say absolutely not. The decision was made quite a while ago. Flex Wheeler posted Andrew's physique update on June 1st, hinting he is 10 weeks out. Even back then, Andrew looked in a great shape, considering he was above 300 pounds. The point is, they were already shooting for Texas Pro. Now, Andrew versus Quentin is gonna be such an epic battle because those are similar physiques. We are watching the daily updates from Quentin almost on a daily basis, but Andrew is staying covered up. So, expect anything from him. Joe Mackey, another big guy coming to Texas Pro. 
he already looks so much better than what we saw from him last year. Is Steve Kokolo making the same mistake that he committed last year? He didn't compete in Tampa Pro and went straight on to Texas, where he lost to Ian, which was a very close battle. I definitely think Steve Kokolo is the favorite to win this show, especially if he shows up like he did at this year's Arnold or Boston Pro. One thing is for sure. Texas Pro is gonna be one hell of a show. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.